Motorsport. All the best things in the automotive world come from Motorsport. Twin cam engines, traction and launch control, electronic suspension, all kinds of aerodynamics, flappy paddle gearboxes, crash safety, carbon fiber everywhere, brakes. Motorsport has been the test bed for it all to eventually filter down to the road cars that you and I drive. And that includes the hybrid powertrain that just won the Le Mans 24 hour race for the third time in a row. It began as a sort of skunk works project by Toyota boss Akio Toyota before he became the company's president. Gazoo means garage, an intimate place where people work together to improve the smallest details. It is a sort of lab to not just improve race cars but eventually filter technologies down to road cars including Toyota's hybrid powertrain. Gazoo Racing continues to be a project very close to the heart of the Toyota president and in fact it was at his impetus and friendship with WRC legend Tommy McLean that Gazoo Racing jumped into the World Rally Championship and they won the championship last year plus they're leaving the championship this year. In fact, the Sunday when Toyota won Le Mans, they also won the WRC round in Turkey as well as the British Touring Car Championship race. This is his vision for the motorsport arm. Toyota has always led the charge when it comes to hybrids. The first ever series production hybrid was the Toyota Prius. The first ever petrol hybrid at the World Endurance Championship was Gazoo Racing's TS-030 race car. And the finest evolution of petrol hybrid technology is this car. The Toyota Gazoo Racing TS-050, three times winner of the world's toughest, greatest, most exciting endurance race. Let's delve into the technology in Toyota's hybrid race car. Development for the hybrid car began in 2010, but due to a tsunami and then an earthquake, the car only made it to the starting line in 2012. At the unveiling, it was a technological marvel. It was powered by a 3.4-litre naturally aspirated V8, producing 523 bhp. It was aided by an electric motor that added another 296 bhp to the equation the first ever petrol hybrid to participate in the World Endurance Championship. Remember, Le Mans is a race where cars have to drive around for 24 hours. So not only do they have to be fast, they also have to be fuel efficient and utterly reliable. The following year, its successor, the TS040, had an even more powerful 3.7-litre V8. However, the third generation car, the TS050, brought along heavy updates. Keeping with the trends, Toyota downsized to a 2.4-litre twin-turbo V6 and married this engine to an upgraded electric powertrain. The combined outputs for the hybrid are colossal, with both the ICE and the two E-motors producing an identical 493 bhp, combining for an earth-shattering 986 bhp. There's also some smart technology involved. The generators recover energy under braking and store it in a battery. This stored energy can be released on demand while coming out of a corner or while overtaking for maximum drive. The car was tested for over 22,000 kilometers across different racetracks with Gauzu Racing crafting it to perfection using robust components giving it excellent reliability to withstand 24 hours of flat out racing. It also gets full carbon fiber bodywork, magnesium alloys and even carbon brakes to shave off as much weight as possible. Not to mention aerodynamics that's engineered for minimum drag on those long straights and a lot of downforce for very good cornering ability. My last time at Le Mans was in 2016. 23 hours and 50 minutes of the epic endurance race were done. Toyota were in the lead. One lap to go. We had our champagne flutes ready to toast a deserving win. And then the car stopped on the finish line. Just one lap to go and the car stopped. It was shocking. Everybody's jaws fell to the ground. It was unbelievable and heartbreaking. Any other manufacturer, they would have thrown in the towel and said enough is enough. But not Toyota. The boss, Akio Toyota, made an inspirational speech and recommitted Gazoo Racing to Le Mans 
and then their first overall win came in 2018 with their famous number 8 car piloted by Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Boemi and Kazuki Nakajima. It was hard earned, it took years of research and development, a lot of disappointment but the results were there to finally show for it. In fact, the following year, Toyota Gazoo Racing was so ahead of the competition that two of its own cars fought for the victory. This time around, it was the number 7 car piloted by Jose Maria Lopez which was set for victory. But just about an hour to go into the race, he had to pull in when a sensor reported a puncture on the front right. Few minutes later, it turned out that his right rear had actually failed and he had to pit again, giving the win to Alonso, Buemi and Nakajima. This year, 2020, the pandemic made for an empty circuit, but the same number 8 car piloted by Buemi, Nakajima and Brendan Hartley pretty much dominated the entire race, ending with a third consecutive win at Le Mans for Toyota. And with that ends this brave new era in the World Endurance Championship. But there's no doubt that Toyota is leading the game now and is committed for the future. At the 2020 Le Mans, Toyota also showcased its hybrid hypercar, the GR Super Sports, that will be powered by an updated version of the same Le Mans winning 1000 horsepower powertrain. According to 2021 rules, there will be a road version homologated for race use while the race car based on it will compete in the hypercar class in the next season of the World Endurance Championship. And speaking of road cars, one of the core philosophies of Gazoo Racing is to incorporate its motorsport learnings into road cars to make them faster, more efficient, more reliable and of course more thrilling to drive.